Hello beautiful people, I'm glad to welcome you to the longest video I ever created, 100 hats challenge. So how it started? In February I bought myself a new sketchbook and I decided to fill it with different challenges. This challenge, it comes from an artist and YouTuber, Ahmed Alduri. I will leave his video in the description so you can check rules that he created as well as his Pinterest board with hats. Ahmed's hats choice is brilliant for those people who want to really level up their sketching game, because his Pinterest board is filled with not only pretty girls' portraits, but also sculptures, difficult heads with expressions and so on. So definitely check his channel after you finish with this video. But because I'm a rebellious woman, I decided to switch things up. First of all, I created my own Pinterest board with heads. Some of them are also from Ahmed's board, maybe seven or eight of them but most of the hats I found myself to fit my needs and goals. I will also add my Pinterest board in the description so you can use it. I tried to add their people different age, sex, nationalities, and also a lot of profile view pictures with them I struggle usually the most. However, unexpectedly, most of profile ones turned out great. What's about my goals for this specific challenge? First of all, I wanted to practice my sketching with something that I always had trouble with. I never learned face anatomy, that's why I try to escape painting faces in my own projects, because usually they turn out wacky and strange, unproportional and, you know, just not nice. Second thing, I wanted to challenge myself and fill every day a whole spread of my sketchbook. For a sketchbook I use this one, the brand they have literally no idea. I only know that paper is thick enough and goes for mixed media and also works perfectly for markers. Also, it has beautiful top beige pages that I love to draw on so much. For this challenge, I use nothing but normal 3B graphite pencil, markers, ballpoint pen and Faber-Castell colored pencils. Hope someday I will be famous enough to partner with Faber-Castell. Mm, dreams, dreams. Anyways, I decided not to add any other media for drawing or painting because, come on, this challenge is already hard enough. And I also wanted to compare my progress. That is much easier to do when you don't switch too much between different media. What was also very important for me in this challenge is to try to capture likeness with a model as much as I can and don't invent anything from my head, but as much as possible draw from a reference. With this task, I had a lot of struggles while drawing. So these were my rules and goals for a challenge. And now let's talk about the first spread. I started with a huge enthusiasm and at this spread I spent only 2 hours and 38 minutes. In the end of the video I will also share my statistics with the time frame that I dedicated to every spread. First, 10 portraits went quite well, for my feeling. Most of them I like, especially number 2 and 9. Some of them went quite strange and they looked nothing like a reference picture, however, I was already inspired and proud with the result because I usually never draw so many portraits in once. What I forgot to mention is that I didn't use a timer, because I thought that working under a pressure of time may make my heads too sketchy and sometimes I just like to allow myself to go really into details. Next day I also used the same pencil for sketching, but this day I was much more stiff with my movements that you can really see with my hats. I only enjoyed to draw number 12, 16 and 20. And I was really surprised because I always thought that profile view is my weakest part, but almost all of them I liked in the end. However, I found out a new issue here. <laughs> all my three quarter view were a bit off. Maybe because I never knew where to put eyes in this view or something else. So now I know that at this point I really need to study anatomy, maybe starting from a skull perspective and moving to other things such as muscles and in the end face features. At this spread I also understood that last two portraits I draw are more on the sketchy side because I like to finish them faster and call it a day. Classic me with saving energy mode on.
Next day, I decided to use a red Faber-Castell pencil for drawing, and this was a real game changer, because it was soft, buttery, and gave me a real feeling of a shape. I also changed the way I film, so portraits are not that much distorted by perspective. I also made a change in my working process. Before, I was drawing all 10 portraits a day in one sit, and this led me to a dead battery in my camera and full SD card that somehow was a bit distracting from a process. So this day I decided to split my heads to 5 and 5 and drew first 5 and 1 sit and after I made a half an hour break for a workout and finished last 5. This workflow made me able to relax a bit while drawing as well as download my recordings to a computer and charge my camera. This workflow I repeat every day until the end. So I really recommend you, if you started to do this challenge and it feels overwhelming or too exhausting, make breaks as much as you need. I heard many artists telling about their burnout after this challenge. I didn't feel anything like that, but mostly because I can easily get lost in the process while listening to music or podcasts. And I know that multitasking is not healthy, but I will do anything not to experience anything like burnout. So I recommend you to put something on the background while you're doing this challenge and you will feel more relaxed and enjoy the process. With this spread, I started to capture better likeness of people from a reference that I was very proud of. However, I spent more time than usual for this hat, 3 hours 14 minutes. Next spread, I continued to use the same buttery pencil that I finished completely till the end. I really like most of my drawings from first page, because almost all of them were really similar to references, and I could definitely see a progress I made also with time spent on each head. On the next page, I really enjoyed drawing number 37 with all her wrinkles and face expressions. Number 39 and 40 were also good, even though for me this angle is the toughest. What I also wanted to mention that I use a fixative spray on every spread right after finishing it, so my drawings are not messing up each other. I use this one, this is quite a good one, but you need to apply at least two thin layers each time with it, and if your pencils are too soft, it can also make them bleed into paper like I have at next pages, so use it with attention. Next day, I decided to use another pencil, not from Faber-Castell, a purple one, but for me it was not enough soft and I ended up hating the whole process of this page. This challenge made me understand that good quality medium that you use can make a dramatic difference in the process as well as in the result. So for next page, I decided to switch to a ballpoint pen. For me to use this pen was another huge challenge because I never drew anything with this medium and I couldn't raise my mistakes. So I tried to be careful with strokes and don't make them too bold from the start to correct them if needed. But even though I never used ballpoint pen to draw, it was still much nicer to use it and not this shitty pencil. So I decided to continue using ballpoint pen for next spread. And my camera didn't fill number 49 somehow, sorry for that.
Next half spread, I started to draw a black man from a very difficult angle and with a pen and it turned out horrible. So after some portraits, I couldn't see it anymore and I decided to skip this hat and draw another on top. Yes, it is cheating, but this is my practice and I can do whatever I want to continue this challenge. Working on this page, I finally started to realize how to use ballpoint pen in a more sketchy manner and I really like two last portraits I drew on this page, number 54 and 55. They catched likeness of reference and ended up looking quite good. So, to be honest, I was quite fed up with the pen, so I found a double marker in my pencil case with grey at one side and black on another, so I decided to give it a try. It was again quite difficult to switch between media and it took me some time to understand how to work better with this marker. However, I really like all hats done on this page, because almost all of them were quite close to reference. I was proud of myself and also of my paper that haven't bleed on another page with my marker's usage. Good job, paper. Next spread I continued using this marker, sometimes combining two shades to achieve more depth in a portrait, sometimes only using a grey one. I actually like both ways, tell me in the comments which one you prefer more. I also found out that with this marker I use much less time, maybe because it covers bigger spaces with only one stroke, or maybe I leveled up my skill a bit until now, I have no idea. I like number 68 with amazing face expression and also number 63 with a great angle that I usually cannot capture. Next spread I continued with this marker. Grey ones started to fade out, that gave me an interesting texture effect, I really liked it. Some of the heads on this page were anatomically not correct, like for example 72 and 79, so I will try more to capture this angle in the future. From this spread I really enjoyed to draw numbers 73, 76 and 77. I also found out that I cannot draw good ears, and most of them look quite strange, so maybe next thing I will practice will be ears and their structure. By the way, I didn't make this challenge in real 10 calendar days, one after another, because I was making a trip with my floristic work and I couldn't film my process, so I decided to skip some days. However, every spread with every 10 hats was done in one day, so in my world I can count it as 100 hats in 10 days.
After this spread, I finally went to a color shop and bought myself two new, great, soft, buttery, sexy pencils to finish all last 20 hats with joy. And that was an amazing idea. I started again with a nice purple pencil and I ended up liking almost all portraits on this spread. Most of them look like references, I could capture proportions and even difficult angles, like for example with number 88. I spent a bit more time on this spread than for markers once, but I think it's still much less than in the beginning. But the result is much better. I could even feel how my hand loosened up a bit and I can use more bold and honest strokes to capture a shape. Because it is almost the last spread, I want to give you some of my recommendations how to finish this challenge without feeling drained and tired. First of all, use a background noise. Can be anything you like, podcast, music, TV show to interact yourself. For me, it was very helpful to listen to a hard rock or metal because this music kept me working faster and in a more sketchy way. Second thing, make breaks. I ended up always making a break after five hats with a workout or stretching in between drawing sessions. So in the end, my body was not that tired as the beginning of the challenge when I did a full spread at once. Drink water while you draw. This is just essential, no more comments. And in the end, find your own references if you are not satisfied with the given ones. Because in the end, this challenge is about step-by-step -step improvement and you need to feel joy in the process to keep on going. And the last but not the least spread for this challenge, I started with a lot of relief. <laughs> Finally, I could finish this task and call it a day. I was quite confident with all faces I draw at this specific spread, and I can definitely see the result and progress over time. I started to capture likeness much better, face expressions and age of a model. My movements are more confident and fast. Here I made some statistics about my speed and as you can see I improved a lot with time. I was very happy with time spent on each portrait in the end because now if I need to make a sketch for a bigger artwork I know that it will take less time and I will be more efficient. I can also see definitely that after this challenge I stopped to be afraid of drawing different faces. Next thing I'm gonna practice will be maybe drawing a hundred hands because they're also part of the body that I'm usually struggle with. Anyways, thanks for watching this long SL video. Uh, here you can see all my spreads at once. In the conclusion, I want to say that these kind of challenges with some limitations and rules definitely train your ability to concentrate, keep focus and be disciplined. And also, do not criticize yourself so much in the process. I mean, I have at least one awful hat on each page, but I also had some of them that I'm very much proud of. So tell me in the comments if you would also like to try this challenge or you can also write your suggestions about new art challenges I can do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!